To fix the lost connection issue in the last epoch, you're going to want to change some of your network settings. Come down to the bottom left and search View Network Connections and select Control Panel View Network Connections. Once you're on here, select the network that you're connected to. For me, I'm using Ethernet. Just right click it and select Properties. It will bring you to this page. Just uncheck everything apart from Client for Microsoft Networks and Internet Protocol 4. Select your Internet Protocol 4 and select Properties and then select Use the following DNS server addresses. Then you're going to want to type in 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 .8 .8 and then 8.8.4.4 .4. Then just select OK Then at the top select Configure Select Yes Then select Advanced Now for your network you may have different settings But if you have any of the settings I show Just copy the value For Advanced Triple E Just select Disabled ARP Offload Disable Triple E Max Support Speed That's entirely up to you I just leave it at 1 gigabyte. Energy Efficient I disable this Row Control Disable Gigabyte Light Enabled Green Ethernet Enabled Interrupt moderation enabled IPv4 check some offload I just leave this one on usually you want to disable all the offload ones jumbo frame disabled large send offload IPv4 and 6 you want to disable both of these the maximum number of queues I'd recommend just leaving it at 2 MS offload disable power saving that's up to you I just leave this enabled priority and VLAN make sure you have this enabled receive buffers I leave this on default side scaling disabled shutdown wake on LAN I have this one enabled speed and duplex this is up to you i just leave it on all both these offloads disable them transmit buffer i leave that on default and two offloads disable these vlan id zero wake on magic packet disabled wake on magic packet and wake on pattern disabled once you've disabled all those just select ok once you do that, just close out of everything. Then in the description below, I'll have a link to this website. You're going to want to select TCP Optimizer Download, and you're going to want to select TCP Optimizer 4. That will download an .exe file, which you want to put into your downloads, and then select Save. Then open a file explorer and go to your downloads. Then select TCP Optimizer, right-click it, and select Run as Administrator. Now select what network adapter you're using. I'm using Realtek. Then to modify the settings, just come down on the bottom and select Custom. Now you're just going to want to copy all these settings that I have. TCP Window Auto and disabled windows scaling disabled congestion control provider ctcp receive side scaling disabled rsc disabled time to live just type 64 enabled check some offloading disabled offloading disabled offloading disabled tcp disabled your maximum transmission unit you want to put is 1500 then for your connection speed you want to max it out to 100 plus then just apply changes and then it will display a bunch of registry editor paths that it's going to be changing just select ok you'll be prompted to reboot your system just select no then go to advanced settings for your maximum connections put 10 your host resolution priority you want to do 4 5 6 and 7 your retransmissions set this to 2 your non sat Disable this. Your initial RTO 2000 and your minimum RTO 300. Your QoS put that to zero. Then optimal. Your network throttling index you want to disable it. Then your system responsiveness set this to gaming zero. Set these three to default. Network memory allocation select enabled. Then optimized. Then your max user port type 65534 and your TCP timed wait delay set that to 30. Then all you have to do is select apply changes. Select OK. You'll then be prompted to reboot your system. Just select yes. Now when you restart your computer and you load up the game again, you should no longer lose connection to the game. This also fixes the issue where you're trying to go into a new area and you lose connection. I had this issue very often. Almost every single area I went into would give me lost connection. Now I can travel between all the areas. If you found the video helpful, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps the channel a lot. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.